We weren't positioned in a way where like I could see her flaps. Don't like, say flaps. I am aroused. I do think anal brings us closer together. I sneeze and it literally plopped out of my ass. <laughs> like a... Yeah, like if anyone wants to stimulate my balls. <laughs> DM him. DM me. Hello, my Love Bites fam. Welcome back to Love Bites by Dr. Tara podcast. Here with me is the fabulous <laughs> one and only Kevin Leonardo. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I'm literally so honored to be here. I can't believe you thought I was like cool enough to. You me. are so cool. Everyone, everyone has told me to collab with you. No, literally same in my comments as well. They I'm tag so you in everything. Are you, are you soaked? I okay. am aroused, You're actually. I'm very aroused. I wouldn't say I'm soaked yet. Yet. But I'm hoping to be by the end of this. Oh. So, um, I'm so curious. Like, what's your story? What made you, like, so socially open? Sexually open. So what made you so socially sexually open? sexually open. Well, you know, I was pretty secretive up until I was, like, 19, actually. Fun fact. Actually, kind of sad fact. Because, like, when I was younger, as you might know, I was, like, molested by a crusty, dusty pedo. And, like, this other kid when I was, like, six years old. And so, like, I was very secretive about, like, my sexuality and just, like, sex in general. I was very much, like, super virgin extreme celibate like the most virgin person ever and when I was 19 I was like I don't want to live this way anymore like mm -hmm. I want to experiment and I want to see like what I like like vaginas or like penises like I wasn't sure what I liked because mm -hmm. I was like do I like guys because I was exposed mm -hmm. to gay sex at a young age or is it because I actually like liked guys mm -hmm. so when I was 19 I wrote this like college paper on college <laughs> <laughs> college paper <laughs> on like getting molested or whatever and then that was when I became more open because that was the first time I told like anyone about it in like Whoa. that way because before that I was so secretive and I was so like ashamed of like myself for all the feelings that I had if I if I wanted to like suck someone's dick I'd be like oh wait that's that's weird. Like, you wrote you know. about it in your college paper, and that was the first time you shared with someone about this? I had shared it with my mom when I was seven or eight, and she, like, made me go to confession Oof, at the tough. church. We're best friends now, but, like, yeah. it was tough when we were younger because she's, it. like, Catholic. Mm -hmm. But, like, back then it was tough because I was in Indonesia. But the first time I really shared it with anyone other than, like, my mom and, like, my two friends in high school was in this college class it was like a 30 percent oh class God. it wasn't like a big lecture hall yeah but still jumping into the ocean yeah i was just sick of myself because i was mm. like i don't want to feel bad for liking guys mm. i don't want to feel bad for like wanting to experiment with like a vagina to see if i liked it mm. i just was feeling so crusty with myself that mm. i was like well, you know what i'm gonna talk about it and then i'm gonna download some apps and just mm. experiment and so i did when i was 19 and mm -hmm. when i experimented blah, blah 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 and i finally met some guy that like mm. I like fell in love with and I was fucking all the time. That was when I was like, now I'm a free uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a free man. I'm yeah. a free bitch, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a free bitch, baby. But yeah. Um, so with the experimentation phase, have you experimented with women? A couple times, but never banging. I've okay. only ever fingered a coochie. Okay. So I've, you saw a coochie and you're like, I'm gonna, I'll put my finger in that. Not my dick though. I, I honestly <laughs> didn't even see it. It was like dark. <laughs> No! It was, I didn't see the coochie in person. I've only ever seen it in like online. Did you just not want to see the coochie? You're like, can it, you cover it? Can you, can you put the blanket on it? We weren't positioned in a way where like I could see her flaps. It was, uh, it was very dark and she was. Don't like, say flaps. She was sitting like this and it just wasn't visible. Did she come? No. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't think she was even wet oh, to be honest. And I wasn't. Erect either. How, how old were you? I was 20. Okay. So you were like 19. clueless and just like trying. I was but... just trying. She was a friend that I think might have like enjoyed my company because right. we were like, we had kissed at a party. I was like kissing guys and girls in college. Right. You know how like when you go to college and mm -hmm. like you're at like college parties, you just like kiss people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That, yeah. So I was like, we were kissing and I was like, can I like finger you? And she's like, yes. And she was like, sure. And then wow. it lasted like 10 seconds and she, <laughs> I wasn't erect and she wasn't wet. And I was like, you know what? While we're here, can I like lick it? And she was like, let's just go to sleep. And let's then we went to bed. To and then that was the last time I had, ex that was the last wow. experience that I had with uh, flaps. So. Uh, so that was pretty indicative of what's to come, huh? Yes. And <laughs> after that, I was like, maybe I like penises instead. There for you sure. go. Okay. So you know how there is a sexual attraction and romantic attraction. Some people say, you know, I'm uh, homo romantic but bisexual. Or some people yeah. go, oh. I'm uh, hetero romantic but sexually fluid or whatever. Yeah. Do you That's think really you're cool. homo romantic and homosexual? No, I think I'm just homosexual. <laughs> 
I don't I mean like I love women like I'm the truest feminist like uh-huh. I love women so much but I've I've never been um, like emotionally attracted to a woman right, I like yeah. love women in terms of like friends and yeah. like I will always support my girls like my mom's like mm-hmm. my biggest inspiration and stuff but when it comes to like even emotional like, like romantic connection yeah like, like men I just can't like, I don't know what I would do with a woman. Like, we would just talk about... I, I, we would just talk about everything. Yeah, that but would it, be amazing. She would be wet. It's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot arouse a woman. I can barely arouse a man, to be honest. Oh, no. <laughs> so, you haven't had sex for a long time. I haven't had sex in almost a year, but it's kind of, like, almost intentional, too, because it's... For me, it's, like, I prefer or, like, I kind of almost strictly, like can only bang comfortably if I like like the guy. So I've only like ever if you're been emotionally in connected. Yeah. So that's so why you don't do like one night stands. I've done one night stands in the third base sense. Like I've like done like third base like blowjobs mm-hmm, and stuff mm-hmm. like one night stands. But those I did not enjoy. Ooh, Usually I would okay. cry. Or so something. you're like a. <laughs> Afterwards, I, yeah. I cry though sometimes yeah. when I orgasm. Oh, I have cry gasm. <laughs> well, that's. I love good it. crying though. So good, so good. I cry from like not that. Like my afterwards. eyes cry, my pussy cries too. That's... Like squirt from my eyes and my pussy. Yeah, and you're probably sweating at that. So <laughs> yes, there's lots like of everywhere. L- feminine liquids <laughs> just coming out. Feminine liquids. And that's amazing to hear. Okay, so you yeah. do- you haven't had sex since January, but do you masturbate? I masturbate every day. Every day. Yes. This bump. Thanks. Nice. Wait, it's healthy. So I know you're fucking all the time. Yes. But do you masturbate as well? Yes. If you're fu- oh. H- yes. How and when? I'm a I'm a fan of morning masturbation. Oh. It like gets my day going. I get like a, you know, sexual yeah. energy release and I feel confident in my own skin. Yeah. Um, so I usually like to masturbate in the morning. Um, especially if we don't have sex in the morning. And then we usually have sex what? in the afternoon or at night. But do you, when you masturbate in the morning, if you don't mind me asking, like, is he around? Or sometimes is... he's around, sometimes he's not. Okay. Yeah, we're we're fans of masturbating either together or watching each other masturbate. Oh, that's that's hot. It's so actually, hot. Yeah. yeah. But oh, how I do you love like, watching how do you my resist? husband masturbate and come? <laughs> yeah, but how do you Ugh. resist not touching? Um, it's a game. It's like a power, like a control yeah. thing. Like I'm just gonna watch you masturbate. I'm not gonna do anything. No, that's super hot. It I is mean, so hot. That sounds really. Okay, so you arousing. masturbate every day. Absolutely, yeah. I have the perfect product for you. Oh my god, I don't want to spoil, but I think I have guesses. <laughs> yes. Oh, I have like three guesses. I'm scared. Yes, it is. And this aroused. Beautiful, rechargeable. Oh my god. Um, masturbator. Holy, that looks a, a little bit intimidating. Vibrating silicone cock stroker Holy called shit. Wrapped from Blush. Okay, if you guys are interested, definitely check out blushlove.com. But I am a fan of masturbation, and I also tell men that daily masturbation is healthy. So there's no shame in That's the masturbation relieving. game. So <laughs> what it is, is <laughs> it's a masturbator. So here's uh, the wrap. Oh, it looks like and- a, a flask from this <laughs> angle. Yeah, not a lot of people wouldn't know what it is, which I guess kind of cool if, it, if you live with your parents. I feel like my dick is <laughs> half of that. Uh, <laughs> That's why it's an open-ended thing where you can uh, where you can close it up, you know? Yeah. Like, where's the camera? I could have, it's like foreskin like, for you can, me. You can close it up. Like, you, can, you know, you can be like a one-inch diameter, two inches, yes. three inches, whatever diameter. Very sexy. There you go. And it... It has various um, vibrations, five speed and five patterns. Wow. So that's amazing. I'm so honored that you got me a gift. Thank yes. you so much. So I've only ever used stuff like in my ass. So that's that would be perfect for me. This Yeah, this is good for you. I didn't know you masturbate daily. So this is perfect. So you can have oh, you can mix it up, you know, sometimes use your hand, sometimes use the wrapped. Thank you so much. My blush love. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to keep this in my collection. <laughs> I'm so excited to use it tonight. Maybe in the Yay. car. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I'm not kidding. Have you ever masturbated in the car? Yes, but oh, not, me too. not recently. But oh, but you have yes. a Tesla. I, not th- I haven't masturbated in this car. I <laughs> used to when I was in high school. I would jack off like before, cla- like, before class. Whoa. And like, sometimes even in class, low key. No. Like, how do you really jack weird. off in class? No one knew. But how? Like if I were to be On like, the pants? Like with my pockets just... or like I would go in the bathroom to finish. But it would only be like once in a while. Is that what hot like, pocket is? Gym. Like putting your hand in the pocket and jerk off. Is that a hot pocket? Oh, I don't know. I thought those were... Uh, <laughs> 
food. I don't know. I didn't grow I, in America. <laughs> oh, where did you grow up? Thailand. Oh my gosh, you're yeah. Thai? We didn't have Hot Pockets. That's so cute. I love Pad Thai. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's my pussy. <gasps> That's her nickname. Pad Thai is your pussy? No <laughs> fucking way. No, my pussy's nickname is Tom Yum. Oh. Because she's spicy. Because it's Tom Yum soup, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I, w- I bet it tastes like that too. I wouldn't want to taste yes. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, are you having an orgasmic day? Absolutely. I'm, I'm so aroused right yeah. now. <laughs> okay. I'm the most aroused I've ever been So all day. my producer said, we're going to play a game. <gasps> I'm so ecstatic. Yes. And this game is uh, out of pocket comments from yeah. Kevin's Instagram. I haven't even read these yet, so I'm like, I hope it. I hope I don't fuck up. So you're gonna read these <laughs> the ridiculous comments, and we're gonna react to it. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I'm gonna open this suspicious-looking <laughs> note card, and it's just come. I bet you feel so loosely ghosty after that coffee and cereal. Did you open up your hole today, Kev? That was the first. That's the first comment. <laughs> do you do you feel loosey goosey after cereal? I ha- don't have cereal very often, but I did get like healthy cinnamon toast crunch cereal the other day, Ooh. and I was very loosey goosey from that. Ooh. So definitely yes. It depends when I have it. If it's at night, I'm more likely to be okay. You know, loosey goosey. <laughs> you know when you're like late, it's like late in. I guess you you're always loosey goosey all day. No, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, I meant like horny. <laughs> oh no, but like if oh. we're actually eating cereal with real <laughs> oh. milk. I would not, my hole would be closed. No, no, I'm also lactose intolerant. Like, that's why I shart so much. But it's, oh, no. Uh, but no, I, I have oat milk. Oh, okay. You can have with Sophisticated that. milk. Yeah. Okay. Are you Lulsi Gulsi right now? A little bit, yeah. Really? Yeah. Which holes are Lulsi Gulsi, would you say? Front hole. Front hole. Don't you not, have like a million yet. holes, like a pee hole? A I have clit, so like, many. Yeah, I have so many holes. I'm kind of jealous I and know, envious of I that. I know. I only have I mean, a couple, but. Yeah. yeah, but you know you can also have a combo orgasms with multiple things at once. I don't know if I've had one. I might have almost had Like you can had ejaculate one. while having ballgasm, while having Wait, pee-gasm. What's a ballgasm? Orgasms from your balls. Yeah, when you I get balls, your I've balls stimulate it properly, <gasps> you can come. Oh my gosh. If anyone wants to stimulate my balls, <laughs> DM him. DM me because I don't. I have no one. I haven't been touched. Yes, ballgasm invitation from Kevin. <laughs> Hit me up. Okay, next comment. We stand an artistically pube shaving king. Ooh, is that your pube? What? Wait, are you? What are you pointing at? Are your pubes at? like oh. artistically shaped? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I did. I guess trim my pubes on YouTube. Is it like a Christmas tree? Okay, so <laughs> no, I didn't actually artistically sh- shave it. I just literally just trimmed it as a visual guide oh. for YouTube. That was like weeks ago. So now my pubes are back to looking like a forest. And oh, okay. when it's like super like a good hairy, Asian like. Boy. Yeah, and when it's super hairy, like my dick is so small that like you can barely. S- if it's hairy, you it's even smaller because it's, it's like you have within to, the trees. Yeah, you have to like you literally the shuffle through the right. weeds to like get to the, like, the tip. Like, a- yeah, like I have to like- get like it, you, what is it called? Like a thing that chops down the. Yeah, and so when I go pee, um, in public, you know how like at home you can pee on the toilet and whatever yeah. it's like you're comfortable. When I pee in like urinals, I have to like really look for it and like oh, pull it out, and okay. then I can pee in the urinal. It's a um, fun vibe. Uh- yeah, not relatable, but I love it. Are you? Is your vagina really hairy? No, I have no hair. <gasps> so well, you, there, I don't. So believe. there's a there's a story. So when I was a teenager, I watched a lot of like fingering porn, uh-huh. and I've always thought it was so unsatisfying to watch fingering porn where the woman has a huge bush because yeah. you don't see the actual action when the finger goes in. So I just yeah. thought to myself, like, I don't like hair. <gasps> Laser. Oh, okay. Ding, 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 ding. So, so your flaps are never hairy? I <laughs> Don't say flap, please. Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know. Is it's just rude? flaps are not sexy. Oh. It's not rude at all. It's just not sexy. Oh. Yeah. Like, okay. Like vulva is vulva. sexy. Vulva. Yeah. Urethra. My, my vulva. <laughs> say all the things. Clit. <laughs> clit. <laughs> clit. Wait, the clit's like a small dick. It's not like a hole, yes. right? Okay. Cl- I've never, the I've never clit seen one, so. is huge. It's a clitoral really? network. I yeah. It was small. No, within the vulva, the clitoral network have legs and it's huge. The legs? Whole- yes. Excuse me? The clit has legs. What do you girl? mean? What do you she mean? She can legs? like literally get up and walk. Your clit can get up and walk. So how she many goes legs like this. does she have? <laughs> she goes- how many legs does your clit have? Two, but then lots of nerve endings. Where are so, the like, legs? The, within the oh, yeah, okay. I was inside. Like, well, yeah. like, how many? You're like, but you've also never seen vulvas. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. I mean, fortunate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yes. Yeah, so uh, since then, I lasered and I lasered since. So I 
this laser fucking situation took forever. Did you know you have to get like 10 sessions? Yeah. 10 sessions of but laser. The hair would only grow like not actually on the coochie, right? It, it would grow like on the sides and the top. It would never grow in the actual mm. vagina. Not right? inside the vagina, but also like on the vulva, there would be some hair. Like on the flaps? Right. <laughs> oh, so- <laughs> Yes, so you can have hair on the side as well. But anyways, okay. I'm like I'm like a dolphin. Like oh, oh, oh. that's like amazing. Dolphin. I'm sure your husband loves that. He loves it. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie. I do miss like having a little bush sometimes. Really? Because now I do think it's hot. Of to be have like feminist. Yeah, like a little bush. Oh my gosh, I'm like the truest feminist. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. So, would you rather get a piercing on your clit or your flap? Like, what would hurt more? Clit. Really? Yeah, so clit has flop- like over ten thousand nerve endings. Oh, I guess it would you're hurt right. so bad. Okay. It'd be like getting like a, a, a like literally on your dick. Yeah, um, I wouldn't. I mean, some guys do that. I could not. No, that I would can't. be unarousing. You know where I would get a piercing though? Might be nipples. I don't have oh. them right now, but I might. You seem like someone who would get nipple piercings. Would you? Um, I don't. I don't think I would. No. Because I don't love piercings. I got them in my ears and I wasn't a big fan. And also, like, I feel like my nipples, I feel like, I don't know, it kind of gives too, it's too much. It's too much. Like, okay. for me. But yeah. for you, oh my gosh, that's sexy. Yeah. That's so I'll, arousing. I'll show it to you if I get them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you have, do you sh- are you open about your nipples? Like, Yeah, yeah. I never thing? wear a bra. Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I don't see them right now. No, um, it's hidden within this uh, fabric. <laughs> but I thought if you don't wear a bra, you're, it'll always show. Not all oh, the only time, it's depending only on the fabric hard? that you're wearing oh, and oh, when okay. it's hard. Yeah, okay. so my nips are not hard right now. Well, that's unfortunate because <laughs> I wanted to see your nipple. Uh, so, okay, let's let read the third comment. So does everybody else. Your new song made me shart heart emoji. Um, Do you shart often? I swear I have never sharted in my life. When I say shart, I usually, I usually just mean like an explosive poop. It's just a way for me to oh, say that. Oh, not like fart in and, your pants, and no. shit I mean, in I your pants, I like that outside of the bathroom. No, I usually mean like on the toilet. It's just me, me being dumb. But I, oh, it's more okay. exciting than saying explosive like, I'm Explosive go poop. poops though, I have had. Like splattery <laughs> ones? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've had those. Also, I've had poop accidents, like, while doing anal. So, there's oh, that, too. I've it's never, very traumatizing. I've never had an accident before. Because you douche, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you not douche? No. Oh. No, gay guys are really good at, like, cl- like cleanliness for anal. But yeah. I think, um, yeah, I think other people are not as good. But doesn't it feel better when you're cleaned, out, like, in your rectum and stuff? Yes. <laughs> But, I mean, you don't have a prostate but, regardless. Right. right? But sometimes so. you, you know, want to like just do it. and Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And you want to switch from But like, never the after vagina. hummus. Not never. Hummus? No anal after hummus. Yeah. What about coffee? Not coffee. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's read the last comment. Okay. Imagine opening Twitch and seeing Kev's asshole up close to the camera. I'll probably like that. <laughs> really? Have you seen my ass? Your ass yet, but not asshole. Have you seen my asshole? No. Oh. Is your asshole on the internet? Have seen my ass. Is it I, on TikTok? It's on YouTube. Your asshole is on YouTube? Yeah, it has like 45 million views. The whole? Yeah. <laughs> there is 45 million views yeah. for your asshole. Yes. I wish I was making it up. I- I'm not. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. It's not in an arousing way, though. Oh. I'm not like arouse. I don't go online to arouse okay. ever. It's like just here it is. Like yeah. Anatomy. Well, I was narrowing my ass. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Removing the hairs down there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's why they call you the nair guy. I get yeah. it now. I support that. Thanks. I support you. <laughs> Yes. Did you watch it? I didn't watch, but I'm just looking at photos. Wow, you're so brave. <laughs> yes. I didn't know it was on on fucking Google. You're Insane. you can Google your asshole. That's crazy. I will tell my kids someday. Yeah. I this mean, is they'll a good. See it. This is a good dating kind of dating profile fun fact. Yeah. Like on Hinge, you know how they they have those audio clips. Yeah. Or they can just run away. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. We would never date people that, you know, don't accept this. That's true. I mean, if they don't accept me, then... We only date sex-positive people. Absolutely. Okay. That was fun. Good job at uh, hosting this game. Welcome to my show. Yay! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so this next segment of this show is answering questions from my followers. Okay. So I'm going to be answering from my sexpertise, and your big brother, Kevin, will be answering from his personal experience. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) 
<laughs> yes, if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely ask me questions in the comments because my producer loves seeing these comments and she's going to be picking them so that I can answer them in the next, next, next episodes. If you're listening to the podcast on Spotify or Apple, you can go to my website, lovebites.co, click ask and then ask away. We love answering your questions. We love doing this for you. All right. So the first She's question. She's a pleaser. Woohoo. Yeah, the first question is from Tracy. She asks, suggestions on stretching for anal. I use butt plugs prior, but it takes so long for the asshole to be relaxed. So unfortunately, I would say you have to use butt plugs because me personally, I feel like if I don't use a butt plug before I get fucked in the ass, it's a little bit, it's just not going to work. So in the beginning, I was like, oh, this, I'm too lazy to do this. I'm going to use my finger. That's not enough for me personally because a butt plug, you can just leave it in and you can go about mm-hmm. whatever. For more foreplay, you could go, you know, wash your hands, Make do whatever sandwich. you want. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like kind of passive stretching. Um, I always go like small butt plug first and then medium and then that's it. Only for like, what, 30, 40 minutes. But the best part about it is you like you put can it just in do for 30 play. minutes prior. Yes. Wow. And that's, you are a master prepper. Yeah. That's a good prep. That's what I do. Yeah. And that's how you get rid of like pain during sex because in the beginning I was like hurting all the time, but mm. I was like, I got to impress this dude. I've only banged like really like two guys, <laughs> but I got to because I was seeing <laughs> him for like guys. four years, but we banged like hundreds of times so I, or like over a hundred times. So I was like, I had to just get used to it because we were fucking twice a week. So I, unfortunately I would personally suggest Mm -hmm. still butt plugs but specifically the curved ones that have like bumps on them Mm -hmm. because those stay in your butt better one time i wore one that was like not a curved one and it was just like straight up like this and i sneezed and it literally plopped out of my ass (laughs) and it wasn't great so i definitely recommend like a curved one with and where did it go (laughs) i was wearing like boxers and so like it fell into the the, between the boxers and i was like i'm not aroused it's not like it didn't like come out and like flew onto like a pizza no but that would be (laughs) very exciting that would have been a that would have been a great story i should lie and say that maybe lie and say that (laughs) okay so tracy i would say here here's my advice so first off yes i think butt plucks are great and uh, and i think kevin's method it really works for most people both you know all bodies um but when it comes to loosening up that part of the body basically the whole like below the belt part of the body i think there are a few things that you can do as well to try to loosen up the first one would would be a breathing exercise because to loosen up the whole body you got to start synchronizing your breath and understanding how your body can relax when you de- take deep breaths so i highly recommend taking you know deep breaths like four in and four out and then doing that like at least 15 rounds to try to loosen up the whole body the second thing is for you, for your partner to use warmed up lube or warmed up coconut oil and massage your butthole, right? Would you, do you like a butthole massage? I like anything foreplay. And yeah. so foreplay helps so much with breathe, like breathing and getting excited and just like getting lossy, glossy. So I agree with both <laughs> like of them. Yeah, like, right. It's it helps you get in the mood. Yes. So everything you just said, I agree with. Absolutely. Yes. And your partner, like, you know, using I think warm. So if you didn't know, cold things constrict the blood flow and it makes a toll and the butt area tighter. Warm stuff loosen up your body. So you I want to use warm up lube, which is good. Yeah, I'm, that's crazy. I should now have done that's that. like the yeah. new thing. So warmed up lube. A warmed up coconut oil, which you can just put coconut oil in a cup, throw it in a microwave, and you'll have warmed up coconut oil. Have your partner, like, you know, put it in their fingers, like the hands, and then start massaging your butthole as you take deep breaths. That would help you loosen up the butthole. And I think also adding on to that, if your partner, while he's doing that, also kind of sticks a finger in. That yes, would be, that's really yeah, helpful stick too. Your finger in. And I think one last thing that I'll say about that is when you do all of these exercises, when you're actually fucking and getting fucked in the ass, I need you to personally, I need you to like, I like to start like cowboy, like riding the cock. Ooh. And, and I like to, once it's in, like obviously take deep breaths as it, as it's going in very, very slowly. And once it's in personally, I like to take like 30 seconds to a minute just like without any thrusting Mm -hmm. just to get acquainted with the dick because if you don't if you start thrusting and going like like right right away 
it might hurt. So it would hurt. I would say yeah. take it very slowly. Even if you're just stationary, like just arouse your partner. Like, hey, don't get soft and find a way, you know. So I, that's my suggestion. That is a solid advice. And I think for a lot of women, anal can be like scary, you know. So definitely take it slow. And even if your first session, for any of you listening that have never had anal, even if the first time was just a finger, that's fine. Yeah. Um, and then a butt plug yeah, is fine. It's fine. And then even like Kevin said, like getting in and staying in there without moving at all, yeah. that's fine too. So how often do you have anal? How often? Yeah. I would say like maybe honestly, like once every quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a quarterly thing. <laughs> I also love the blended orgasms that I have from clitoral and vaginal. Yeah, and it, like you have a lot of clitoral play, going on there. vaginal penetration. I love that so much. And yeah. I'm almost like, I'm way more in- invested and addicted to that feeling rather than anal. However, I do think anal brings us closer together. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's not a propaganda. Because it, it's like, it's almost like a, a challenge. Like yeah. it's, it's a task. And I do uh, love anal. So <laughs> Yeah, I feel yeah. like you kind of have to. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Are you um a switch or and absolutely not? I I don't get aroused from dudes' asses. Like, I no. <laughs> you get aroused from receiving. I get aroused from receiving and uh, giving, but like just head and not like butt stuff. Like, I, guys can do whatever they want to like my ass, but like I I wouldn't want to do anything to a dude's butt unless like the relationship is established that right. I'm the not that, top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I can if they want me to do stuff, then I'm down. But I can't. That can't be the main thing like i have to be the one getting pounded (laughs) i have to be the one getting absolutely yeah there's no way i'm gonna be i can't be a top like look at me like i I like both what am i gonna do oh do you peg i yes oh my gosh i like both and i honestly i do like getting in that like submissive position and just receive so I'm definitely a fan of like being a pillow princess. Yeah. And just like lay there and have my pussy up on the pillow and just serve my <laughs> pussy. Like, come on, eat it. And talking about eating, yeah. Zachary asked, how do you get your girl to eat your ass? I would say, you know, relationships, sometimes when you get bored in a relationship, things get like stagnant and sex becomes a little bit like, oh, we're doing the same thing every single day. Why don't you just go up to her and just be like, or like in the middle of foreplay or like sex or whatever and be like, hey, babe, like I'm kind of, you know, feeling a little frisky. I kind of want to try something. Can you, you know, when you're giving me head, can you go a little bit lower? Start like tease her with the taint first and then trick her into, no, don't trick her. But obviously like ask her like, do you mind going a little bit like under? my balls and she'll probably you know like be down if she's like a sexually positive open person but i would obviously don't like pressure her into doing things that she does not want to do no pressure never pressure yeah but you could always let her know like hey you know i'm down to clean to take a shower before so it won't like smell like poop girl is definitely not down to keep clean it's required to clean (laughs) well some people don't shower and they still eat i mean i don't shower huh i don't shower well but you just said required to clean i right the butthole only. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, If you're eating someone's like, ass. I like, shower like one, once every like three to five days. Oh, is that? I think it's a thing. It's a thing. You're, I mean, yeah. Asians don't smell. So My, my partner also it's doesn't fine. shower. Oh. Yeah. But definitely clean the asshole. Yeah. So I yeah. would say, you know, I'll clean. I'll, I'm down to clean and like just, you know, guys have a prostate gland mm-hmm. back there. So like if you want to please me a little bit more, you know. Yeah, with the pee spot. Yeah. Like you can give me a little gift. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think that ass eating is becoming more and more common. And, you know, Zachary asked, how can I ask, how can I get my girl to eat my ass? I think that um, starting with a regular fun conversation about ass eating outside of the sexual realm can be easier. For example, sending her like a clip from this podcast or Kevin's <laughs> clip or oh. like an article about ass eating on, you know, like women's health or like, you know, like send her like a source that's funny, that's relatable about ass eating and like send it to her like, hey, what do you think? Winky face, you know, tongue out face, whatever, yeah. whatever. So that she's primed to the idea that you're thinking about it. Yeah. Anything at all, actually. This is a good advice for anything that you want to try is to send like a third party 
information to your partner and then ask, "What do you think?" Yeah. And I think that will prime them, like, "Oh, oh, like I think my partner wants me to eat his ass. I don't know." Do do do. And then have that conversation when you're in private setting because Makes it then, less taboo too. Yeah, because yeah. then I think she will be more likely to be like. Yeah, like if you if you clean, like I'll try. You know, a lot of women actually do enjoy giving their partner like ass pleasure. So yeah, don't discount like the pleasure that you can give your partner through ass eating. Yeah, that's a better idea than mine. Both are good ideas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, last question from Quentin. My wife lets me eat her ass. Oh. But how do we move into more anal play? That's a good step one, though. If you're already open to like the anal stuff, so I think all you have to do is either you know bring it up in a non-sexual conversation, or if you're already doing anal stuff during sex or foreplay, you could even just go and see what naturally just progresses yeah. in the session. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, don't do things that like people feel uncomfortable. Like, if your girlfriend or wife doesn't want to do something, like don't make her. But you know. See what naturally just progresses if you just lead in that direction. I would say because you're yeah. already opening up your ass, right? If you know? if the wife is like opening her legs and you're like licking her asshole, I think would I just kind of look up and ask like, "Hey, babe, like, can I put a finger in?" Because I feel like my first time when someone asked me that, I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Yeah, you know, I thought about Same. it for like three <laughs> seconds, and I'm like, yeah, and then like you put the finger in, and then like try to kind of go around like this and like stimulate it in there, Did and then nothing else. Um, the maybe I didn't. I look was at always it. stressed because before I douched, this dude would finger me. Yeah, and then I would be like, "Is there poop?" It was so unarousing. I'm like, so <laughs> I was not a good sex ask talk. That? I I have like an anxiety. Are you a little bit thing. neurotic? I think I am a little bit because I used to. Um, this is why I was like fucking someone that I was like fully comfortable with. So I was like always open to you know saying whatever I want. That's why I was able to have sex all the time with this person. But yeah, I would freak out even if I douched. I'd be like. Okay, can you make sure when you pull out your dick, like when we switch positions, like there's no poop on it? It's like very bad sex talk. <laughs> it uh, is dirty talk. It's literal, literal dirty, dirty, talk. dirty like, hey, talk. Make sure that hygiene am I talk. Good? Yeah, I'm always like, am I good? Like, uh, it's always I'm always asking. Mm. So I need to find someone. Is it because that you're cool like extremely it. hygienic? I don't want to poop on someone ever. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. What if it's... you're dating someone who absolutely loves you and you love them, but they have a poop kink? Ooh, that's hard. I mean, I think I'm open to trying things. Like I've been pissed on, mm -hmm. and I was like cool it? with it. I mean, I would give it like a five out of ten. <laughs> I, I would do it again, but I I've wouldn't. been pissed on too. Did you like it? Eight out of ten. Oh, okay. So I think I think I did it wrong, <laughs> but because... not in my mouth. I will not no, no, do I, that. Yeah, yeah. Neither. But I think I did it wrong because I did it like in the middle of sex, and I feel like oh, okay. it should have been either during foreplay or foreplay like, uh, after. I, yeah, yeah, because I did it during foreplay. We did it during sex, and at that point, like we had to clean and the momentum was kind of not there anymore afterwards because we weren't we weren't done so it, we he peed on me and then we were like oh, okay time to clean up we cleaned up then we continued sex so it was kind of like not mm -hmm. it should have yeah, been yeah it's almost before. like a buzz killer because it's like yeah it stops the other things because i wasn't gonna go back to bed with uh piss all over right. my body <laughs> yeah and i wonder I if some people do i could have but it would have like dried up and like crusted piss is technically sterile what does that mean like it's I'm technically so clean Oh, really? Yeah, technically sterile. I don't know if I want to <laughs> fuck to the smell of piss I see, on my yeah. body. Yeah, not, not your thing. Yeah, I like cum more. I would say, <laughs> I do too. Yeah, same. I would say, Quentin, um, if your wife is already like receiving pleasure by you eating her ass, I think that more anal play is definitely an, an easier possibility for you and your sex life. Fingering, I think, ask her. I think, like Kev said, if if it's available to ask in the moment where if she would, looks like she's really into it while you eat her ass, like maybe ask like, hey babe, can I put a finger in? I think that's uh, definitely a possibility. In terms of toys and stuff, I think what would be powerful for women is that you, ask her to pick a toy rather than get a toy and say hey I got you this toy I'm gonna put it in your butt because then it feels powerless be a gentleman right it feels powerless to be like I got this I want to do this rather than like hey babe I'm really interested in this how about you look for something you would like and that I would feel more invited to anal play yeah very good advice this is the anal episode very on brand. <laughs> okay. Love so animal. the last segment of this show is called Five Quickies with Dr. Tara. Are you a fan of quickies? I 
don't like quickies that much because I have to prepare so much. I'm it's like, true. I'd rather, I want like hour long, you, like yeah, I want to session. go hours, you know, but, um, you know, if it happens, then sure. Like in the morning, usually like before it, when I was fucking all the time, the mornings were usually more <laughs> quickies because we'd be like, time. Oh, I gotta make this meeting or something. And then it would be, you know, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan, but um, I'll have them. Yes, but then now you can. <laughs> I'll uh, take what I can get. But then now you can stroke your cock with the masturbator. That's from so blush. true. Oh, quickie by myself, yeah. Yes, Th- those are cool. Ooh, okay. So five quickies with Dr. Tara. Number one, plucking nose hairs during sex. I don't find that super arousing, but if my man wants to do it, I'm down. <laughs> but am I being plucked or am I plucking? Uh, either one. I would rather be plucked because I'm submissive and I want to be like a slave. All so right. you, my master can pluck my nose hairs. Okay, not for me at all. I hate nose hair. I always tell men the easiest place to groom yourself is to pluck or trim your nose hair. Like if I see your nose hair, you're not trying. Yeah, I don't love <laughs> that. Yeah, so I guess you can pluck mine. <laughs> Number two. Sure. What does arousing mean to you? Horny, uh, exciting, ecstatic feeling, orgasm. orgasm. Hard dick. Yes, hard dick, erect, <laughs> loosened cl- butthole, wet Lots flaps, of <laughs> wet flaps, moist <laughs> coochies. Okay, number three. How do juicy Caucasian balls taste? Amazing, arousing. They taste kind of like salty in the most arousing way possible. Um, I honestly, I I'm pic- picturing, I'm my, I'm sal- salivating from that question. Salty like Parmesan cheese or like sushi? <laughs> More kind of like soy sauce in the sushi. Oh. I would say. Yeah. Number four, licking soggy cereal off your Tinder date. Honestly, I would do that. I would. Ew. That sounds pretty hot. I don't like hot. soggy cereal. I don't mind soggy cereal, actually. You like food play? I have never done food play. Ooh. So that's that's why I'm aroused. What would you want to put like around your dick for your partner to eat off? I would rather eat off of my partner's dick. That's right. Because I'm, I, I mean, you're a I'm true down. Sub. I'm down if he wants to do stuff to me. That's I'm more than welcome. But probably peanut butter. Okay. So I can like lick. Very OG. So I want to put peanut butter on like the whole of the dick or maybe like the shaft area so yeah. I can go all the way. It's like a, like, you know, when cats have like, there's like a trap and they have to like fight their yes. way to the treat. <laughs> I want to put it like f- as far as possible. So I'm like, you know, like going, how... like trying to reach it. As far as possible. Fa- you just did this. Like how big of the dick? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It depends on how big the dick is. <laughs> uh, but you know. Because uh, it, it could just be one bite. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> But I would hope that my man has a bigger dick than me. Because mine would just be one bite. One bite? For, yeah. I mean, I don't have a giant penis. One, so. one, one bite pride. Yeah. Small That's dick what kings. pride is for. Small dick kings. Yeah. Number five, a group of guys in public. Scared. Frightened. I don't feel aroused. Why are you scared of a group of guys in public? I feel like groups of men scare me generally. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get stabbed or robbed or shot. Or all three. But a group um, of arousing guys that like me in public, I feel like That sounds I, like an orgy. It sounds it's an orgy, but I. Think, but you would never have an orgy. I don't think because like you would. need that. Like Emotional. you're a demisexual, yeah. Yeah, I think I don't know if I would do if my partner was like, hey, let's get some other guys, maybe. But okay. I think I would want to. Wow, you're such a pleaser. Yeah, if it, if my if if my partner wanted me to, I think I would try it. But I don't think I would be like, hey, let's go fuck a group of guys. Yeah. I mean, if they wanted to, like, if my part, if they, if they're all guys that I like, or like maybe like f- I'm friendly with them, yeah, and they ask me and I'm aroused by them, I mean, they can come on my face. Ooh, I guess. what would you name an orgy full of uh, social media influencers? Influorgy. <laughs> social cum. Ooh, yeah. Orgasmic media. No, wait, that's not. <laughs> come together. TV. Yeah. <laughs> We'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys know a good name for an orgy full of social media influencers, let me know in the comments. Yes. Where can everyone find you? Uh, anywhere. Kevin Leonardo <laughs> or The Coolest Kev. That's my handle on all my socials. And what can they expect? You can expect me talking about dicks, sharding, people that I want to do my dance on. <laughs> Lots of fun things, actually, my whole life in the lens of an arousing in a non-sexual way or sexual way. I love Kevin's content. Kevin's like my long lost little brother. I love your content too. I'm Yay, like a huge fan. Fist bump. Yee. Okay. And we're both Asian too. And we're both Asians. Uh, for those of you that are listening and watching to the end of the episode, I know that you 
you are a big fan and I love you so much. So thank you for listening, watching till the end of the episode. Please like, subscribe, share. I love seeing all the shares and when you tag me um, on social media, I love, love, love it. So thank you so much. Again, if you want to ask me questions, you can ask on YouTube in the comments or if you prefer that it's confidential, you can go to my website, lovebites.co, click ask and ask away. I would love to see the questions. Other than that, have, have an, an orgasmic, orgasmic day. day. Bye. Thanks for listening. This was, this was Love Bites. Love Bites. By Dr. Tara. Follow Dr. Tara on social media at lovebites.co. Have an orgasmic day.